and welcome to another craft activity. Today we will be learning how to make stained glass crosses. So we're going to need three things to make this. We have a transparent adhesive paper, a cut of a, out of a cross, and some pieces of colored tissue paper. So the first thing we're going to need to do is unfold the adhesive paper. Like so. And we're going to need to peel the backing off of the paper. You're going to want to take your time with it. Use one finger to kind of hold the adhesive down. Keep pulling like so. I wouldn't recommend taking the whole paper off yet just so that you have something to kind of hold it in place without your hands getting all sticky. You're going to take your cross and you're going to line it up so that it sticks on to the adhesive. Like so, so take your time with it, because once the cross is on, it's going to permanently stay there. You and now that we have it stuck, I would still recommend keeping this on just so that it gives you a little bit of grip without your hands getting all sticky. We're now going to take our colored tissue paper and we're going to stick it onto the inside part of our cross. And with the colored tissue paper, you can have fun with it. You don't have to make them so that they all kind of line up. You can overlap the tissue paper. And you can have fun with it, make whatever kind of design you want, but you basically want to make sure that you're filling in the entire inside of your cross. And you also want to make sure that it doesn't go outside of the lines. So you can stick them however you like and what kind of pattern you want. You can do them in different angles. You can do, you don't even have to do it all along. You can even put some in different random places and overlap them later. It's whatever order you want them to be. So remember that once you put it down, that's where it's going to stay for the rest forever. Okay, now that we're done, we're going to take a pair of scissors and we're going to cut out our stained glass cross. Okay, and as we finish cutting the rest of the adhesive paper off, we can flip it over and you can see the final result, which is a stained glass cross. And there you go, your own stained glass cross. I hope you have fun making this craft, and I'll see you next time. Bye!